Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and today we are playing Crusader Kings 2. We aren't even Vladimir Putin anymore because uh, our son named... I'm sorry. Our father named us without my... the player's opinion on the matter. So our father named us Stanislav. That was never the intent. And uh, we have our brother, not Vladimir... Not the second Vladimir. Yeah, seriously, his name is not the second. Our brother, not the second, is uh, our heir. I don't like him that much because he's an idiot. I mean, really, he is. Neg negative three to everything. He's the opposite of quick. Uh, and he rules the duchy of Polotsk. So good for him. You rule a duchy. Congratulations. We're currently putting down a rebellion. These guys wanted to put some moron on the Swedish throne. And that's just not... That's that's not the way we work, okay? There's there's Putins around, and there's Putins that are always going to be around, so get off your high horse, Sweden is ours, go away, go home. Excuse me. So we're talking about what we need to do to reform the faith. To reform the faith, we need these provinces. Plok. Rana. Novgorod. Kiev and Burlad. Now, as our father, we fabricated claims on Kiev and Burlad so we could go declare war, but we never had the opportunity to go declare war. We died from leprosy. Died of terminal stage leprosy. Yeah. I mean, he, he was dead from leprosy within just a few months. He didn't live very long. So that kind of sucked. But it's not the end of the world. Uh, we still have Gavelkind, and we can't get rid of Gavelkind until we reform the faith. So that's kind of why we want to reform the faith. But in the meantime, let's continue putting down this rebellion. These rebellious rebels. What is your major malfunction? There's some factions that want to revolt, but I don't know if they will. Uh, this one probably will, 93%. The rest probably won't. So you are in Galindia. Let's click on there. I like he's got a unicorn for his fucking flag. Pretty badass. Uh let's Yeah, discourage him from the faction. Go to Galindia. Fix it. Just fix it, damn it. Okay, the rebels are dead. We just have to siege their stuff now. Uh that should be fine. It's going to take some time, though. And he keeps recruiting more guys. Oh, goodness. Oh, we could hire some more mercs. Now we're losing one money a month. Hmm. But if I hire the mercs, I could stand down my regular soldiers. That is true. Yeah, I think I will stand down my regular soldiers. Uh, okay, hire the mercs. We're going to replace this army. We're going to stand them down. Because with our regular soldiers, if we stand them down and then stand them back up again later on... Oh, wow, one of these provinces was rebel. No. If we stand them down and then... Oh, we're diligent. I always do my homework and my chores before I go out to play. Look at that. Right before we came of age. We come of age in August. And right before we came of age, we got diligent. It's one of the best traits in the game. Fantastic. Uh, now we need to switch out of her into a uh, gray eminence. So let's find ourselves a gray eminence. Come on, gray eminence. There you are. Hello. Russian Slavic. That's fine. Uh, but he's a downer. Let's go for her because she's a little... I don't know. No, it's not true. She's pretty crappy as well. And this guy's slow. Oh, wow. These Gray Eminences, they're just not very good at anything, are they? Well, this guy's got some piety. I guess we'll go for him. And he also has patient. Yeah, yeah, okay, we'll go for him. But he's not He's not a fucking Gray Eminence. Oh, shit. Uh, they're all terrible choices. All of them. Here, just go with him. Whatever. Give me that Gray Eminence, baby. I can't wait. 
I can't wait. They underestimated the Putin side of the force. Yeah, that's true. Today is International Star Wars Day, so that's why there's some... Ah, we came of age. Great eminence. Yay! Today is International Star Wars Day, and wow, do we look weird. Uh, let's, let's get a trim. Oh, yeah, there we go. More braids? Oh, we got lots of braids. Is that okay, having all those braids? It looks sort of Norse, though, doesn't it? We're not Norse, we're Russian culture. Oh. oh well. I guess there's nothing wrong with looking a little Norse, as long as we don't behave like a Norse. Yeah, we, we do need to get married somewhere. And the question is where, when, how, why, that sort of thing. I would love to marry her, she's a queen. I wonder if I can kill her husband and then marry her. How, how much does it cost to kill you? There, there are 350 bucks to kill you, you fat fuck. I really want to kill him and take her as my wife. Can I marry her? Nope. Uh, damn it. Oh, there you go. Can I marry her? No. Ah, shit. God damn it. I can't marry anyone. Are any of you heirs to anything? No. No. <laughs> no. 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 I guess we could just use the people finder. Search realm for genius. All right, what do we got? Got our mama, a fourteen-year-old boy, thirty-nine-year-old guy who is actually dead. I think. I guess we'll go for her. She's fine. She's Romuva. We can fix that. She doesn't have to be Romuva forever. Done. And if we change our mind and find someone better, then so be it. But for now, let's go ahead and marry her. Yes, yes. Good, good. We can all just break the betrothal if we wish. No skin off our back. Who's this? Peasant revolt. Whatever. Whatever. It's a peasant revolt. I don't care. It's actually quite a lot of revolters. 18, 1800? My sister needs tutoring. Okay. Well, let's find someone who needs a little opinion boost, eh? Like the Jarl of Vladimir. Opinion boost. All right. Where's that guy running to? Oh, is he fighting Denmark? No. Denmark's not even at war. I don't know. Uh, go to his capital, actually. That one's fun. Probably the easiest way to 100% this revolt is to go to his capital. There we go. The county of Burlad. Yes. Okay. So now we can take our dude back home. Uh, let's go improve relations with Denmark. Yeah. There you go. Fantastic. And we can pick an ambition as well. Let's work on our stewardship, because that's pretty bad. Four stewardship? Come on.
Oh! It has been brought to your attention that the large garden outside your castle is frankly a mess. Sure, we'll be a gardener. Why not? It gives you two stewardship, I think, to be a gardener. So, sure, why not? Yep, gardener plus two stewardship. Okay. We fulfilled our ambition to improve stewardship. Uh, I think it's going to take some time for that to actually stick at eight. I think it's just a temporary boost of four instead of a boost of two. But for now, I mean, I think it's a good start, right? Let's go for Marshall. Why not? Stupid rebels. Go away, rebels. All right, you guys are done. Now, this is my main army, right? Yeah, this is my regular army. Stand them down. Yeah. And we'll use our mercs for the rest of this. And then we can re-raise our troops if we need to. Look at that. We can have like 6,000 guys. Not bad. Not bad at all. But yeah, now we have claims on the provinces we need to reform the faith. That's just fantastic. How many allies does this idiot have? And how many troops can he raise? He can raise 4,300. And he has six allies, including the kings of Hungary and the Pechenegs. Holy shit fuck. Oh, that's, that's not good. I believe one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with a faction. Uh, there is no faction right now. So don't do anything, yeah? In fact, I think we're going to take our dude back home. Back to the capital. Just relax. Put your feet up. Don't worry your little head. Oh, we can get patient. 70% chance to get patient. Yes, please. Oh, we didn't get it. Fuck. We got it. We rolled it. We rolled a three or, or lower. Darn it. How dare you roll a three or lower? There he is. What's up, dude? So many rebels. Always rebels. Hey, gain marshal. Nice. Some people wound up at my court. Duchy of Wallachia and Severin. Really? This guy's got claims on these duchies. Wallachia and Severin. Where the hell is Severin? Maybe it's a titular? I don't see it. But he has a claim on the duchy of Wallachia, and I would love to see him get that. Oh, look, the rebels are fighting some idiots from Mazovia. Okay. Fine by me. Ransom prisoner, you say? Who could this be? Is this Bulgaria? This is indeed Bulgaria. You have some courtier of mine. You want me to pay to get her out? We offer you the release of Princess Droslova of Hungary. No, I don't care. Why are you offering it to me? I don't rule Hungary. That was rather odd. Yeah, she has claims, but not, none that I'm interested in. Uh, let her rot.
Take him out, boys. Nice. Ah, a tithe. 43 ducats. Thank you so much. Smallend isn't part of this. No, what is Smallend up to? Claim on Sweden. Apparently he is part of this. Okay, well, let's kill him. Damn it, don't you run away from me. Son of a bitch. Who is this? Ah, what do you want? White piece? No, you surrender. Okay, good. Yes. Excellent. All right, we got all these motherfuckers in prison. Fantastic. They surrendered. Hey, 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 douche nozzle. How about we banish you? Wow, it's going to piss off everyone by 110. Well, let's just go with the Yarldom of... Of that. Oh, he has two Yarldoms. Interesting. He only owns two counties. Huh. Yeah, we can only revoke one of these four. Uh, unless we wanted to just piss off everyone. I think we'll avoid pissing off everyone this early. We can piss them off later. Because they will revolt a second, a third, and probably a fourth and fifth time. Uh, but let's at least get you guys home. These are all mercs. Oh, and our retinue seems to have died. Darn. Alright, let's get some retinue queued up. Uh, but yeah, let's revoke all this shit. Because they don't deserve titles, these motherfuckers. Prince Dag of Sweden. This was the guy that they tried to put on the throne. Ten gold. I think I'll just release him. God, he's old. He's 60. They try to put a 60-year-old on the throne. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Look at all these dukes and little girls and everything. My goodness. He's insignificant. No one will care. Well, chop him up. No one will care. And no one cares if I release her either, so just chop her up. Alright. Foster Gotland. This guy's got two counties and the duchy. I think we'll revoke his county on Dahl. Let me ask real quick. trying to decide what's the best stuff to revoke from these idiots, because some of them, like this guy, has multiple things scattered around.
Okay. Okay, revoke the county. Okay, gotcha. That's that's kind of what I was thinking, is the county is the more important thing to revoke. So let's revoke your county of Dahl. Done. And I can't revoke any more titles. Uh, it'll piss off our dudes. So I think what we'll do is uh, ransom him for 145 gold. Thank you so much. Revoke the uh, county of Verend or the county of... Which county is better? Oh, Verend is better. Revoke it. And ransom yourself for 145 gold. So this is what you do when you have rebels, right? You just take all their shit away. This guy owns... Oh! Oh, this guy owns... Look at this. Pomerania is mostly under our control. Pomerania is in Russian hands. Apparently, one of the dukes from Sweden came down here and conquered most of Pomerania. Well, the most of the duchy of Pomerania. Look at that. Wow. So yeah, what the hell should I revoke from him? Gdansk? Gotland? Or Stettin? Now they're both good. They're all good, right? Gdansk is probably the best province of those. Actually, Gotland has the most holdings. Alright, we'll revoke Gotland then. So now I control Gotland. I think we'll set up a merchant republic there. Who else? Oh, this guy only has the Jarldom of Ulster. He has no land. Oh, he has no land at all. Okay. You're gone. I think I'm going to banish this guy. He doesn't have a whole lot of cash, but he needs to get out of here. Son of a bitch. Alright, so we're going to set up a douche nozzle over here. Let's find ourselves a nice douche. Let me just bring in a couple morons. Uh, give me a couple nobles. Hello. Oh, you're ambitious. Go away. Hello. Oh, he's a genius. Wow, look at him. Good man. Here you go. You get Ostergotland. I'll give you the duchy as well. Enjoy that. Oh, I forgot that also gives him Gotland. Oh well, I'm an idiot. I guess we're not going to set up a uh, republic there. I'm an idiot. What else did we take? We took Verend. Okay, let's find someone for Verend. Hello. Wow, you're terrible. But he has decent stats. You get Verend. Enjoy it. And who else? What else did we revoke? Doll. Right. Let's find someone for Doll. Perfect. Excellent. Russian Slav. I think we will. Re I think we will replace someone in Davina. Well, no, we'll hold off. Five out of six is probably fine for now. All right, so let's get out of there. Okay, be paying ransoms. 145 bucks for those dukes. That's not bad. Nice. That's pretty good ransom. I'm glad you guys paid. Uh oh. Oh, we can't. Oh, we're, someone already told him to stop. Okay. When you have the automatic. When you have this checkbox turned on, it automatically tells people to stop plotting. Uh, you'll still get pop ups saying righteous imprisonment, but you won't be able to act on it because. Your spymaster has already been sent to tell him to stop plotting. 
normally, if you don't have that checkbox turned on, normally, uh, yeah, if you don't check this box, then you'll get this pop-up and you'll be able to use it to imprison people because they're plotting. But we can't imprison anyone uh, because they're automatically asked to stop plotting and, well, it's just automatic. Now we could go attack this guy, we could go attack Finland, we could attack anything we want really. But I think we're going to go for the Kingdom of Ruthenia. None of his allies can join him right now. Ain't that nice. Uh, is he in a war? He is. Prince Vladimir's host claim on Hungary war. Yeah. So let's party, huh? How many troops you got? 5,000. Oof, wow. That's a lot of troops. Well, I've got like 7,000 and I got some mercs. So I think we'll be okay. But let's get everyone home first. We're going to kill these rebels. Put this rebe rebellion down. Then we'll go invade Ruthenia. Subjugation of Ruthenia. Look at all that land. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> That's so much land. And it's all Russian. It's all Russian culture. Look at that. It's all Russian. So it'll be super duper happy accepted. Even our capital is Russian. Yeah. But there's a lot of land around us up here that is not Russian. Ah, we got the, the King of Denmark to like us. Good. I should keep an eye out for relations that we could do here. Denmark is... Agnatic Cognatic, so the women do have claims to the throne. So if there's ever an opportunity to hop in there and just go like, om nom nom, I would love to. Alright, here we go. Hey, we got 45 gold from some Viking raiders. Good job. Ah, <laughs> nice job. Oh, he ran away. Son of a bitch. Take him out, bro. Yes. Take him out. Oh, he's got a good general on that flank. Nah, he's dead. You're dead. So there goes that revolt. Alright, Ruthenia. Oh shit, his war is over already, so his allies can join. Well, how many troops does Hungary even have? Uh, 1,200. And the Pechenegs? Pechenegs! Hello, Pechenegs! No. No, Mr. Superman, he is not here. There he is. What's up, Pichenegs? What you got? 2,600. I think we can still take that on. I mean, it's not ideal. I think we can still beat that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Duchy of Pomeralia. Really? That's a duchy? It's two provinces. Wow. I don't like it when when there's two province duchies. Like Corland, I guess I understand that. It was a historical duchy, but two provinces? Really? Why two? Why two when Novgorod has six? There's six provinces in the Novgorod duchy. I don't know. It's odd. Uh, you want peace, eh? There you go. Alright, you're going, going to prison, bro. Alright. I should have banished him, but whatever. Alright, he's dead. So I think it's time for Ruthenia. I've sat on my I've sat idle on my hands for too long. We demand Ruthenia. That's a lot of land. I want it. I deserve it. And uh, this will put us one step closer to reforming the faith. We need Ruthenia and then we also need Burlad. So there is that. 
And he really has no allies that are worth even speaking of. But yeah, Ruthenia first. Make it happen. All right. Call in my allies. Sure. We can press de jure claims on random shit that I don't care about. That's nice. <laughs> oh, jeez. You got a really ugly wife there, my friend. Oh, and you're not even married. You want to marry someone from my dynasty? Now there's no one from my dynasty. Oh, well. All right, so, yeah, let's invade. And let's raise the troops, baby. Oh, man, look at those vassals troops. Yeah. I don't think I'll need these troops out here in the Faroe Islands. I really don't. I don't think I'll need these guys from the Kola Peninsula. You know what? I guess we'll use them. I mean, there's no harm, right? All right, everyone go meet up in the capital. Can we do that? Oh, you're going to walk this way. Uh, no, I think I want you to go this way. There. And you all, y'all, can meet up here in Tropitz. And then the rest of yous can meet up in Lepiel. Work. There you go. Ah, uh, he's not going to join my war, you son of a bitch. Alright, speed three, no problem. He's grouping up here in Liubech, it's fine. He hasn't called anyone in yet, but he will. He will, that motherfucker. Oh man, this is going to take some time, so hang in there. I don't think we're going to squeeze it into one episode. I think we'll... There we go. Hungary has been called in. That's fine. Uh, we're not going to squeeze this into one episode. We'll cut it off in a couple of minutes here. And we'll come back. But yeah, this is, this is going to be huge for us. Then after this, just one quick little war uh, to go beat up Bulgaria. Take one province, Burland, Burlad, whatever it's called, will be set. Catch him? Yes. Good. Make him feel pain. Yes. That's good. We're taking out 700 guys really early on in the war. Nice. And they just squished. He's bringing 2,100 guys. He's probably going to attack this small stack here in Mitslavl. That's fine. Because we have backup right next door. Oh, he's got 2,800 now. Look at this. Uh, peasant revolt in Ireland. Oh shit! Oh, and there's 1,400 of them. Well, damn. Oh well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ireland is under siege. Big surprise. But yeah, he's gonna take 3k up straight north. That's great. Uh, let's group up. Thank you. Now, how long does it take to walk there? It takes 18 days, and he arrives. It only takes him eight days to walk there. Wow. All right, what about this way? Same thing. It takes 18 days from both directions. Okay. Um, yeah, that's probably fine. We'll send... Well, let's see if that stops him. No, he's still coming. All right. All right, let me put some decent... Oh, I can't change the generals. I can change these, though. 
There we go. Wow, he seems really confident here. I'm not sure why. We're going to own him in this battle. Yeah. Not even close. Nice. Alright, that should do. And from here, we'll just siege. I don't think there's going to be much threat to us. In fact, we're already at 44% just from those two battles. Two battles gives us 44%. Wow. Uh, fabricate a claim, but we can't even talk to him because our spy master is already on his way. With cease and desist orders. Slaughter. Poor bastard. 50% just from a few battles. Yep, see, I still can't do anything because my spy master is already talking to him. Whatever. It's fine. Okay. Got one province down. 60% war score. Looks like he wants to party. No, he changed his mind. Okay. You don't want to party? I wonder when he'll surrender. Probably when he starts getting internal revolts. I haven't even seen Hungary at all. Probably because Hungary is really weak right now. Sixty six percent, sixty nine percent, move on. Carpet siege. Well, not really, but same effect. Yep, speed up. He's going to go all the way around the side. Oh. Oh, my heir, not Vladimir. Uh -huh. No. Yeah, he's so dumb. God damn it, that guy's an idiot. You can do it. Seventy-three percent. Good. Yeah, he's going to go all the way around to Orsha. And we're just going to stomp on his face. Come on, then. What is this over here? Oh. Rebels. Okay. Eighty-two percent. Don't run. Come on, I bring cookies. I bring Russian cookies. Don't run. 
There we go. Squeesh, 92%. So that's pretty much it for the war. Let's take you guys over to Holland. That should do it. 96. Nope, not quite. 96 just ain't enough. We gotta get 100. Okay. That should be 100 right there. Nope. There we go. Ah, beautiful day. Look at that. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Stanislav Putin has become king of Ruthenia. Oh, happy day. Happy day. Oh. We didn't take any land, uh, but we do own Kiev, and we're going to have to do something about Kiev. Uh, this one, the Temple temple of Yuriev, right? Yes, Yuriev. All right, you. Oh, I have to revoke that title or something? Hmm. Ten gold. Yeah, we'll ransom some people. Yeah, I don't need this idiot. 26 gold. And that's it. No one else can be ransomed. Hmm. But yeah, why don't we call that an episode here? Thanks for hanging in there for 40 minutes, guys. <laughs> it was worth it, though, wasn't it? Look at that. Our name is huge now. And there's our dynasty name. Look at that. Putin. Fantastic. Looking good, baby. Looking good. We're not the biggest name. I think that has to go to the Abbasids. They are just ridiculous. The Abbasids, Macedon, and uh, Holy Romans. And even the Umayyads. But mostly mostly just those three. They're the big scary motherfuckers. Not us. Not yet. But soon enough, man. Soon enough. We are making moves and making gains. Oh, that was great. So thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. Stanislav has been sitting in for Vladimir. Uh, pretty soon we'll be back to Vladimir, though. We just need to make some babies. Two years, our, our young wife will come of age. We'll start filling her up with kids. I'll see you then. Have a good day.